What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Room Remastered Total Let's Play as the Brutii. So right off up our last time, we had a fairly anticlimactic attack on Sparta because most of the Greek forces have pulled out, but we also captured Bylazora, which means that the Macedonian faction is done for. They are destroyed, they are eliminated, and that is that. Now we are the most advanced faction as well as the largest. So let's actually check out our uh, statistics. So this is our trajectory for overall ranking. It's, you know, every turn things are going really well, including all the factions. Egypt is taking a bit of a downturn. So we are now the most, overall the most powerful faction. Military ranking, Scipio, is that Scipio? Pretty sure that is. No, that's not, is that the Britons? The Britons are still pretty strong. Uh, we're still squaring off near the... Is that the Greeks as well? Yeah, near the Greeks, the Germans, or Germania, the Julii, and the Britons. Production-wise, we always seem to be producing every turn. Territorially, we are now the largest faction. We've Egypt appears to have lost some territory. Let's see how... Uh, there was one for nearby factions, wasn't there? Neighbouring factions. Okay, let's do neighbouring factions plus Greece. Greece is the same as Thrace. I was curious if Greece was conquering Egyptian territory. I mean, this is me, like, destroying what they've got. But they've, even though I've captured a few of their cities, they've recently, including Sparta, that's still, they're still expanding. Hmm. Let's check our Senate ranking to see how we are I always forget pulling ahead on our standing with the Senate and we're pulling ahead on our popularity with the people but for the moment I think our focus is going to be on stabilizing Sparta and um, stabilizing Sparta and Thessalonica because right now those are large cities with large garrisons in Still trading with Byzantium, or with the Thracians. But yeah, I want to keep my diplomats near Thrace and Germany, because they're my they're tactically my more uh, important factions. Or more important areas to or countries to, that I need to be ready to have immediate relations with. I'd probably Aha The Swines here we are. So I'm gonna. I've got. I've got a. No oh God, they are pushing um, with strength. We mess with the bull, Germania. You get the horns. Oh, I wasn't expecting the horns. Okay, so we've got rebel navy sailing around. Two notices. Suggestica is being besieged by a bunch of rubbish German troops. Candidate for adoption. Vibius Brutus. Damn right, I'll bring him in. So where is he? He is at Tarentum. Imperators. Oh no, sorry. It means Vibius is, in, is, is adopting him. His name is Numerius Hortensius. Well, you can probably go and garrison and command Croton. So the Germans that are attacking us... Right, we want cavalry up there against the Germanic tribes. So Tarentum, can you not build... God damn, why can we not build... I've really been letting the standards drop. So none of these territories are not able to build cavalry. Well, let's fix that. First of all, let's do the building tab. Tarentum, build yourself stables. Actually, you know, you do have stables. Am I just reading it wrong? Could well be. Could well be a thing. Let's also get cavalry. Apollonia, Corinth, you could probably go for... Maybe, maybe sewers. 
Spider Zora. You can go for walls to act as a bit of a uh, defensive position to the north. Let's retrain even more of our men. So we've got a lot of German troops. Okay. First of all, let's clear this Greek fleet away from Sparta. Retrain the ships we can as well as probably sailing Ready to sail. Ready to sail. this fleet over to here to pick up extra troops. Uh, I'm not going to be here two turns, I'm only going to come in next turn, pick them up and then sail away. So we want to get a unit of archers as well, let's probably get cavalry from Larissa. Thermon also could do with cavalry, run them all to this port, garrison them up and sail them north. You can probably sally. Because it is all just a bunch of spear warband. So we can likely surround and engulf them with our Astarte. They do have uh, dogs, so if we had cavalry that would be a concern. But we need to do this to, at the very least, force these men away from us. I suppose we do have cavalry, we do have my general. run my town watch out onto the flank there we go so as the men pour out of the gate with various qualities of armor yeah there's lots of shouting and lots of upset but no one's actually dying there's just a limit to how many men can actually get through the gate at once despite uh, appearances We go. So then these men walk. Town watch aren't brilliant, but on the flank they are useful enough. Let's get these guys on to fire at will. So yeah, these guys can form phalanx. So the idea is to try and pin each one of them with one unit while we wrap around the flanks, cause them fall in. I do not want their warhounds to deploy against my general's bodyguard yet. I want to get some good value out of my peeler. Charge in. Oh, 
these men just my general just charge down the town watch this warband is broken there we go there we go there goes the enemy captain Okay, my Astarte aren't fabulous, but they are still... When they're charging men in the rear like so, they're good enough. Yeah, pick a decision. They are going to continue. And let's speed up time. Use our general to go and kill as many of the enemy as they can. Did kill that guy. Good stuff. So we pushed away the first, the first enemy stack to sit behind or to sit in front of our doors. But it does mean we do need to strengthen our hold here at Suggesticus. Let's retrain. Let's probably retrain you train a unit of Vertes. Cause I've got a feeling when they when they do come at us, they're gonna smash into the breach hard. So let's pick up Principes and Again, you guys have no military production capability, you need to fix that. Everyone else is fine. So I've still not forgotten my own personal objective to go secure roads. So how upset does Spa to get fairly? But not massively. It's pretty good. These men get aboard ship. And then get ready. Actually, can Sparta retrain? Yeah. Retrain and add another unit into the fleet before sailing off. These men can sail out and check the coast is clear. I do want roads. Because the Colossus of Roads increases naval trade by 40%, which, considering a significant amount of our income comes in from. Uh, naval trade. It's definitely going to be something you want to do. And I might go hit that up, Navy. Just to always challenge and push the enemy while we can. So then our cities that aren't building can try and recruit uh, ships to support. All of our agents are there he is, Decius of Sparta. I remember he's trying to get a, get into a ship. I want to get him over to Kydonia. That'll probably be next turn. Inactive spy. He's okay there. Inactive fleet. Uh, he may as well attack the rebels. We sunk their ship. Get them back into port and get them... Retrained, add another ship. Let's hit end turn. Our, one of our diplomats is ready and waiting near Germania, but it looks like it's not going to really be a problem now because we are at war. I'm not going to take advantage of having that diplomat near Germany yet, uh, chiefly because we could probably stand to gain a bit more from uh, actually trying to fight them push them back and capture new territories. Right, now what do you want? Do you want peace? Think very carefully before How about until no? next time. You declared war on me and I did nothing to you. To be honest, if I can march west and take Patavium away from the Germans, if they've captured it, that would be pretty big. No, the Julii pushed them away. Similar to how we did. I mean, we are the glorious Romans, after all.
the Murray Thrace. Some when you will need a need to be lanced. Yes, master. Yeah, so our spies are marching forward. I want my general to push up. Build a watchtower. Getting back to safety before these rebels intercept us and do something sneaky. Keep our spies pushing north. But our main effort is to go here, pick up these units that have been recruited. Can you leave all of the. Actually, it makes the Corinth garrison happier. This fleet sail up to Suggestica. It'll take a couple of turns. So Larissa, yeah, they're unhappy, but they're starting to get a new government building. So Croton should probably get you to actually build some of these military buildings. Especially as they are my fastest growing towns. It makes sense, I suppose. Suggestica, you can focus on a blacksmith. Athens to the south, you could probably go for... Uh, I'm trying to look at things that would get rid of culture bonuses. So it's ranged stuff which we can't get, new stables we can't get, a new farm we can get but we don't need pop growth. Let's probably get paved roads. And Sparta... Shit, okay, lots of stuff we could upgrade here, but let's go straight for a large Temple of Mercury to get the population. Happiness bonuses. There's a Greek fleet that could try to intercept us. Let's clear them out with our other navy. And them. Get you to blockade Pergamum. You get to Athens. These men can sail on. Towards Rhodes. They're setting north. Croton fleet is pretty darn good. Athens, you can probably build up another trireme. Now at Kydonia, we could also build biremes. I'd like to send a navy east to scout out um, Cyprus. Especially as they've got lumber, gold, copper, and dye. Could be quite valuable. Kydonia is earning a good amount of cash through oh, trading purple dye with Sparta. It's earning 600, pretty much most of its uh, income. Sparta can also recruit a ship. Yeah. Take Sardis. Not going to happen. I want to take Rhodes, Harlequinassus, take Sardis, push on, take Pergamum. Probably at some point I'm going to get declared on by the Thrace, Thracian Empire, but that's okay. Let's run some Hastati up. So Aquinsum is one of our, well, it's, like, it's our chief target, I think, because we do have Lovavum up there. I don't want to push out, because this army might swing east to siege us. Good. Equites. Boom, we are ready. I do want to push and take Aquinsum and hope we'll take Aquinsum and then try and make peace with the Germans and pretty much say, you know, you betrayed us and attacked us. Now let's not do it again. Two active, inactive spies. So you can't. Can you infiltrate Polarism? You're marching up towards Aquinsum. Good. Hey, I gave you an order to blockade the port, but instead go fight the Greeks. Okay, let's sail you back to here. I suspect this guy is probably interfering with our trade. So we'll deal with him in due course. Yes, I want you to be inactive. So the Germans are, they are an important, they are a major power, but it doesn't appear... 
They're fighting on all fronts, and they've made a mistake by attacking us, chiefly because we weren't actually an enemy. Over there's. I wasn't looking at them. I wasn't going to push in their direction. But now they've rather forced our hand somewhat. Candidate for adoption. Vivius Brutius is adopting again. Garrison commander Tiberius Scribonianus. Scribonianus. Superior commander, publicly loyal. Yeah, why the hell not? Let's probably move you out of the mainland. Get him to begin to garrison Thermon. Because Thermon has no garrison. Nor does Larissa. Nor does Corinth. Nor does Athens. Although... I don't know why I'm still able... I don't know why I'm able to... Change Larissa's tax status. Despite having no... Agent there. Or no garrison. Julia and Germania have forged a ceasefire. Not great for us. Titus Brutus, confident commander. Oh my. It looks like they're coming after us. In which case, then. Quick. Our patience is limited. Uh, except we will attack. Surely you'll just. Uh, you'll pay for this. If you want to come at me, you can come at me. We have reinforcements sailing north. We have reinforcements running north. Too bad the town's not any larger. We could build some pretty kick-ass walls, but there we are. Okay, so now you can land off of the coast of Rhodes, put the city under siege. Because who have they got here? Your faction leader, hoplites, armoured hoplites, and a bunch of hoplites. So we're going to need to swarm and surround the city, really. Uh, you, uh... Okay, you can clear this fleet out from Sparta. Does Spartan not have a upgraded dockyard to build? What are these again? Triremes. No, sadly not. Let's get our agent over here to see how well he does. Cydonia is still growing. go take on that one individual fleet I fear it might have been trying to uh, blockade passage to Thessalonica Catapult range is two turns away our agent in Capua he's only 19 I don't know maybe he's not a very good agent some of our agents are doing great Merchant, sorry. Thing, how much are you making? 213, 19, 102, 97. Maybe, I don't know, this might do well because there's lots of trade coming out of Kydonia. Inactive diplomat. I will address them at once. Um, attack faction. No way. Attack Germany and name a price reasonable for demands, and we will offer map information. And offer. Can I? Ah, good, I can do this. Eh, let's just see. Would you consider. <laughs> they want 20 grand to attack Germania. Um. No. Until next time. Do not like giving lots of 
our new our new son. I do not like giving lots of money away to the AI. God damn, our chart's doing great. <laughs> uh, so I want family. So Vivius Brutus can't have any kids, so he's adopting him like a mother. Decius is going to soon be uh, of age. Good, we are actually good. Good, we are producing lots of kids because it was yeah, it was, it was getting pretty close at the start there. Okay, let's hit end turn. My general's back. Spy is creeping onward. Sneaky, sneaky Germania. Skippy Eye is still just broken because they're not attacking Carthage. Here come the Greeks. Let us see. Okay, I think they've they failed to take Harlequinassus because they're army looks a lot smaller than it used to be. Lots of armoured hoplites. Very good admiral. But he's only equipped with biremes. Yeah, they're definitely not uh, letting us get away with having too much freedom on the ocean. So it's combined fleets. Larissa, retrain. Ready to sail. Deposit your agent on the purple die. He's earning 98 from that. Aye, aye, Captain. God damn, I, I do need to grow my navy in this part of the world. Ready to sail. Corinth can build. Troy Reams. So let's build up a fleet. Because I do need to control this stray and also start to blockade some of the Greek ports. Because they can still put a surprising amount of vessels to sea. I suppose it's because we weren't really sinking them like we are there. Now you're useless to go in there because you can't retrain. So you may as well just pull you out. Um, I mean, we're here at the end of the episode, but because you haven't had a fight for so long, I'm going to fight it. Just because... Try and get some action in there. Yeah, what I found interesting in this campaign is that the AI will seemingly allow you to uh, besiege them into surrendering the settlement if they don't think they can win. Usually, the AI decides to Sally, regardless. I great renown through leading men to victory. I see no reason to change the habits of a lifetime today. There stand the Greeks, ready to fight or die. Today, I think we should send as many of them as possible to Hades. Damn right we will. No stopping us now, right, Ted? Uh, you've always been a fine soldier, Scott. Just lead the way. Spread out, my men. Oh no, you're a ram unit. Good stuff, and then I don't think I've got any spare armed units. Let's put them more in the middle. In loose formation. So I want to keep them away from the towers. Push my Velites up on the right, and I've got all my cavalry the fairy man will be just hunkered down. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. It remains to be seen how or where the enemy will come on that regard. In that regard, they may attempt to just push around and take us out, which is where my cavalry will kick in. 
Or, to be honest, do I kick it into gear now? Let's try and intercept and destroy some of these hoplite units. We'll take some losses from the the men on the towers, or from the towers, but it might be worthwhile to try and destroy some of these hoplite units prior to them getting into the city. They're going to have to run close, which means they will take a few arrows. Our soldiers are at the walls! Now they must batter a way through! Our soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram! This hoplite's getting shot to bits. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must batter a way through. I mean, they suck up a lot of arrows, but ultimately, there's not a lot to uh, shoot at. They are good hoplites, though. That's because there is no gate this side of. Well, there's no gate on this side of the city apart from near where we are attacking. Keep running some of our men along. not really bothered about my actual attack now because killing these hoplites outside of the walls would be a great result the enemy general flees press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too the gods have smiled there we go today. we're breaking our way the in walls are broken our troops should be ordered forward These men have been hit in the rear. Fall my men back. Charge my general into the rear there. Have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. There we go there. Broken. Killed the general of the resupplying force. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. They too are broken. See three hoplites, you should better kill them. And these guys are wavering and their pikes aren't down, so we can probably break them. There we go. guys at the last general. This one unit can focus on killing those men. My archers can stop firing. 
these troops can push in. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Got some general bodyguard at the rear. So cluster out more men at the point of need. Let's run my cavalry in. There we go. The whole place were destroyed on the way to the city. My infantry push up in good order to the centre of town. Let's just speed up time to allow my men to uh, do what they need to do. Capture these towers so they should no longer be engaging my troops. Oh no, they're all still Greek. So it feels like the way to do it is when you push up you just give them an order to get into the town. But don't give them any formation orders, because that's what makes them freak out. Or you do something like like this. Pile my cavalry in. Get these men to just focus on the general's bodyguard. These guys can focus on the pikemen. run our charge our cavalry around so you charge in and hit the again look I don't like what when they do this when they decide to slow down and shuffle and you end up needing to just charge your men in like this, and then get them to actually attack. There we go. The men at the front are going to take a bit of a hammering, but that's their job. They're the, an they're the anvil. So you men just stop, and you can fire at will. Charge in. Don't form into columns like that. Some lovely looking hoplites. My general's bodyguard is he's attacking their general. Need to be careful though, because it is the front of their pike block. There goes the enemy king. Get my faction leader out of there. First of all, we'll get them all to re-attack, but get my faction leader out of there. Because he, my general, could be in a bit of a sticky spot wherever the hell he is. Stop. Get out there, Peeler. And my Velites are up here, which is a bad idea. Hoplites are hunkering down, but let's just speed up time. 
There you go. Let's end it there before I do something dumb and kill my general. He did just charge in again. <laughs> That's very much the kind of thing I do. But there we go. The city of Rhodes has been secured, including plus 40% of naval trade expansion. First of all, we're going to occupy the city. We've got the Shadow of Colossus. Good stuff. And we've also got a merchant. Interesting. So probably want to knock down the Temple of Hermes. Let's get a trade-focused shrine, which is a shrine to Mercury. As well as a wooden wall, and probably build archery range. Awesome, but I think that's probably a good time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another episode of my Brutai campaign that seems to be going, for the moment at least, rather well. Radio. Cheers everyone.